Hey guys, uh, I'll be showing you how to do picture in picture here in iMovie. So uh, let's get right into it and I'll try to go in depth as much as I can uh, in the video. So uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, you're going to get your clip and you're going to put it right here. Uh, in fact, what I'm doing is um, I'm doing my lightsaber effect here that um, it's just my clip. So um, I just dragged it in here and we're going to use that. Uh, I use Motion 5 for that. Um, so maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. Uh, if you request that, uh, I'll probably do it if I have the time to. So anyways, so uh, yeah. So put your um, clip right here in the project section, which is obviously right here. So um, you're going to go up to iMovie and go to Preferences. All right. And then in Preferences, it has all these options here. Now make sure you're in General. Now we're going to see Show Advanced Tools, and that's probably not checked off for you if you haven't used it yet. If it is, uh, leave it like that and um, exit out of this. If not, you're going to uh, just click here and have it be checked, and then you're going to exit out of that. Um, once that's checked, you're pretty much ready to go, and uh, we're going to go and get a picture. Uh, you can also get some um, clip here and drag it all the way over here. Uh, it's going to work just the same with the dragging and uh, picture in picture like thing that you're going to just uh, see in a sec. Um, we're just going to get a globe and uh, we're going to put it, we're going to hold on to it and drag it right into where we want it. So let's say right there. Uh, you're going to say uh, you have all these options and then you're going to say picture in picture. So you click that. So it's pretty much right there and that's basically it. So if you had the uh, clip, you just uh, drag it, um, hold and drag onto where you want in the um, uh, in the footage here and then you're gonna let go, put picture in picture and voila, it's there. So it works pretty much the same. So yeah. So anyways, let's just get in depth here. So one thing they can do is cropping Ken's burn. Um, so cropping Ken's burn, um, rotation so I'm just going to do uh, Ken's burn for right now and you're gonna I'm gonna just do it like that and I'm gonna say done so uh, if I play this all right it's gonna look me pretty weird and then you're going to see the globe here yes I do not have the best acting skills in the world yes I know um so anyway so there it is and also what you can do is you can go to video adjustments uh, video effect. So the video effect is going to have an effect on the globe here. So um, you can do any type of thing. So let's do heat wave uh, for this one. All right. So you have some kind of different color, or I kind of actually like cartoon. Um, so actually, I'm going to stick with cartoon, and uh, it kind of looks pretty cool and different. Um, then you can do a border on the picture or on the video. Um, make sure you go to border with first. If you start clicking border color, it's n nothing's going to show up because it's this thin dot line. So, um, if there's a thin dot line, it's obviously not going to really show. So, click the next one here or the thicker one and we're going to keep it white. You can have a white, gray, or black so we're going to stick with white we're going to have a drop drop shadow so you're going to click that this is just optional and you're going to see that um it kind of has some shadow here so keep your eyes right here and uh, i'll click um i'll unclick it so you'll see the difference all right so that's no drop shadow and drop shadow okay um so you can just click that and uh, you can also do the duration to the um, to the clip um, to the photo. I mean, let's just put it um, eight seconds. All right, and we're going to click done. So um, that's pretty much it. And um, if we just played this part with the um, clip and everything, you'll just see um, you know what we just what I just explained to you. And uh, looks pretty cool. Now you have, uh, you might have the other question um, of, can I put two at a time? I uh, guess you can, but you can't put it right away because let's say if I want to drag this uh, colorful lightning one 
right onto this one. It's not going to allow me to because it's going to say replace or insert in those and you won't get the result you probably want. So instead you want to go to share and then go to export using QuickTime. Now you're going to save it to any folder you want then reopen it it's going to be already saved like this so then when you open it um, I believe that you should be able to drag another uh, picture in picture uh, right onto it alright um, but then let's say you don't want it you want another picture in picture but not right on here you want it probably in the beginning uh, of the beginning of the video so let's just take uh, this cool little um, design here and you can put it right at the beginning and press picture in picture alright so um you can do any of those cool effects I taught you to do and um that's pretty much it so if you have any questions comments whatever um just comment down below or PM me and I'll be glad to um get back uh get back to you as soon as I can so thank you for watching and uh this is once again uh the project leaf